In this video, I'm going to be talking about which is better, minimal cues versus yoga classes with instructions. Hi, I'm Melissa from Yoga with Melissa. I've only very recently started teaching minimal cues yoga classes after many years of requests for people who have asked me to speak less and less. Stop talking. <laughs> Today, I'm going to share with you my thoughts and experiences on what is a minimal cues class, who they are for, when they're beneficial and why they're beneficial and why you would want to practice them. I'm also going to talk about the place of yoga classes with instruction, like why are they important? Now, if you're new here, welcome. I'm really glad you found us. I teach Hatha yoga, restorative yoga, yin yoga, yoga nidra every Wednesday. Here, I offer lifestyle videos on this channel. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you watching videos and subscribing here. These videos are short. So if you come on over to my main channel, Yoga with Melissa, I offer full length yoga videos every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Some of them will be minimal cues now due to popular demand and your feedback. So thank you for that. Now, first of all, what is a minimal cues yoga class? If you click on a minimal cues yoga class on YouTube, the yoga teacher will offer no instruction other than naming the pose. It will be a completely silent experience other than this is the pose, and then there will be no instruction on how to come into the pose, no alignment tips, no breathing instructions, no principles of yin if you're in a yin class, no directions on where to place your attention, no modifications. The instructor will just name the pose and then when to come out of the pose, and other than that, it's completely silent. That's my experience of it. Now, who is a minimal cues class for? Well, minimal cues classes are intended for intermediate to advanced level yoga students who are fully familiar with yoga poses, how to breathe in yoga poses, the different ways of placing their attention in a yoga pose, their alignment in poses, how to modify poses. So if you're choosing to do a minimal cues class, then you must be comfortable with silence and have the skill set of being able to attend to your own experience. Now by that, I mean, you must be skillful at placing your attention somewhere in your yoga practice. In a yoga class with instruction, I'll give a lot of choices on places you can put your attention. So for example, maybe sensations in your body, your relationship to gravity, your breathing, your connection to your emotional landscape, among many other things. Now this kind of cueing is completely absent in a minimal cues class. And in that way, I think it's incredibly important for those people who are choosing a minimal cues class to have the skill set to attend to their own mindfulness practice and be comfortable with interoception. That is feeling the sensations of their body from the inside. Now, people who feel distracted and even distressed by a verbal cueing, I heard from a study recently who explained to me, I love how you explain our intent at the beginning of the practice and the ending poem. However, I'm finding that I have a little bit of an inward struggle with my sensory ears and the talking, especially at the beginning. It causes a little anxiety for me and I'm struggling to settle. Is this common? And are there suggestions that I can do for a mindful practice to overcome this? Otherwise, I would love a minimal cues class. So it's great for those people. So I would say that this is completely normal and that there are times in our lives when we just need more silence. This is when a minimal cues class can be extremely beneficial. So who is a minimal cues class not for? There's also a whole host of students for whom minimal cues yoga classes are not appropriate. So minimal cues yoga classes are not appropriate for beginner yoga students who need instructions and cueing on how to get into the pose. So if you have a real monkey mind and you have difficulty focusing, then a minimal cues class is not gonna be for you. If you find that the mindfulness cues such as follow your breath or feel the sensations in your body help to bring you back into the present moment, when your mind is inevitably like wandering all over the place, then maybe a minimal cues class is not going to be for you. There's also people for whom a lot of space and silence 
can cause anxiety and even trauma response. And then minimal accused classes do not offer any choice. If you know that it's helpful for you to be reminded and to have that choice throughout the class and that silence can be triggering for you, then a minimal cues yoga class is not going to be a secure and safe container for you. So what are the benefits of a minimal cues class? The benefit of a minimal cues class is that it truly allows you to drop deeply into your own experience. It has the potential to do that because You'll be in silence the whole class. You're not going to be distracted by the intention of the instructions of the yoga teacher. In this way, you can be fully in your own experience. Another benefit of a minimal cues class is that you can drop deeply into the silence. We have so much noise in our world that it's majorly beneficial to have spaces where we can just simply be in silence. Silence creates a container of calm where we can focus rather than continually feed our minds with endless information. Apparently silence can be incredibly beneficial for our physiology as well. Silence can lower our blood pressure, which can help to prevent heart attacks. It can boost the body's immune system. It can benefit our brain chemistry by growing new cells. It decreases stress by lowering cortisol levels and adrenaline, and it promotes a good hormone regulation and the interaction of bodily hormone related systems. So it's great for that. Now, before we talk about the difference between minimal cues classes and classes with instruction, thank you so much for liking this video, for subscribing to this channel and sharing it with anybody you think would benefit from or be interested in this video and letting me know what you prefer in the comments, minimal cues or instruction classes by putting minimal cues or instructions in the comments. That will be your way of letting your vote known. Of course, it doesn't need to be an either or sort of situation. I think there are benefits of both styles of classes and both styles of classes can benefit you at different times of your life and different seasons. So let's talk about yoga classes with instruction now. So what are yoga classes with instruction? So these are going to be unique for every single yoga instructor and for each yoga class that they teach. For me, I'm going to have a clear intention about what I aspire to teach in a yoga class. And in a class with instruction, I will actually speak that intention at the beginning. In a minimal cues class, that intention is not verbal. I'll speak about what people can expect in a class and set a clear container for our time together. When I teach with instructions, I'll often have a theme. So for example, the idea for this video came out of a question in the comments of my yin yoga to cultivate the divine feminine video. And in each yin yoga pose, I uh, spoke about different ways that yin yoga and the divine feminine intersect. Another thing that happens in a class where I give instruction is that I offer a lot of choice. Choice can look like a lot of different things. I'll offer options and modifications in the poses. I'll offer choice in terms of mindfulness cues throughout the class as well. I'll give a lot of permission for people to be in charge of their own experience and practice. Now, who are instructional classes good for? I would say if you're interested in learning about a topic, I teach a lot in a class where I offer instructions. I teach about how to be in the poses. I teach about a theme. I teach about the principles of yin in a yin class in a way that relates to the theme. So there's a huge opportunity for education when the teacher has the opportunity to speak in a class. Oftentimes yoga teachers are highly educated individuals. Take Bo Forbes, for example, she's a PhD. If she were to teach a minimal cues class, I think there's a, a, a loss of potential for uh, sharing of wisdom. I also wouldn't want to go to a class by Bernie Clark, Paul Grilly, or Norman Blair, or Sarah Powers and have them be silent the whole class. That would be missing an enormous amount of knowledge and wisdom that's available. I would say if you're interested in the intersection of yoga and something else, for example, I don't think it would be possible for me to teach a minimal cues class with myofascial release or combining yoga and something else. It would just require too much instruction. So when there's a layering to the yoga, I'm gonna need to be able to give instruction. 
if you like poetry. For me, I love offering poetry in my instructional classes and I don't offer it in my minimal cues classes because it really feels out of place in the silence. So as I said before, instructional classes are necessary for beginner yoga students. They need instructions for coming into the poses and for cueing and knowing where to place their attention in the poses for themselves. When it's necessary, to, when it's necessary to ditch the instructional classes, well, maybe you've been taking in a lot of information. Maybe you had a headache. Maybe you just need some time and silence. Then the minimal cues classes can be a great resource to drop inwards into your silence and your own experience. So I've learned a lot from teaching minimal cues classes, and I'm thoroughly looking forward to teaching more of them. I've learned the value of holding space for students who are literally ravenous for silence. And I don't think it's an either or kind of situation. I think that having a foundation in instructional classes makes it possible for us to inhabit minimal cues classes very skillfully. So I know that was super wordy. I had actually maybe ironically had a lot to say on minimal cues classes. So thanks so much for sticking with us all the way to the end.